We would like to compare between simple interest and compound interest in terms of the simples. So when we talk about interest rate, for simple interest we use little r, while for compound interest we use little i. For time, for simple interest we use capital T, while for compound interest we use little m. For principal or present value, for simple interest we use P as principal or PV as present value. For compound interest it's the same, P for principal or PV as present value. For future value, for both simple interest and compound interest we use future value, which is FV. Regarding the formulas of simple interest and compound interest, our interest amount, our interest amount for simple interest is equal to principal times simple interest rate times time, or future value minus principal. For compound interest, we don't have a direct formula, we just need to get future value minus principal. For future value for simple interest, it's equal to principal multiplied by open bracket one plus simple interest rate times time, close bracket. For compound interest, or for simple interest, we can get future value as principal plus interest. For compound interest, we have only one formula for future value, which is future value equal present value multiplied by one plus i, all of this to the power n. For present value, the simple interest present value equal future value divided by one plus r times t. While for compound interest, our present value is future value divided by open bracket one plus i close bracket to the power n. Our interest rate for simple interest, our simple interest rate is equal to future value divided by p minus one, all of these divided by time. While for compound interest, our effective interest rate is equal to future value divided by present value, all of these to the power one over n minus one. Time for simple interest, our t is equal to future value divided by principal minus one, all of this divided by r. While for compound interest, our n is equal to len future value divided by present value, all of this divided by len one plus interest rate.